Good morning, this is Adam Tuyana with RJO Futures here in Chicago, uh, coming to you today on Thursday, February 13th, 2014 with your commodities, your soft commodities rundown. Two markets that we're gonna look at this morning in a follow-up from last week's video is first uh, the cotton market and then we'll follow up and end with the coffee market. Starting out with the cotton, which is last traded 88.61, that's in the March futures contract, uh, puts cotton up 24 ticks on the day. Uh, we had export sales come out. They were semi-bearish, uh, so we saw a little profit taking uh, when those numbers came out. So I believe this is coming off of a decent correction because after that export, uh, report came out. Since then, we've seen uh, a rally here in the cotton market over the past couple hours. So traders uh, are expecting in the uh, long term that supplies will be pretty tight uh, going into the spring. So uh, we're seeing some strong buying uh, with a tight out. You know, when you see some strong buying that has been in place for a while with a tight outlook uh, on the cotton supply, believe that there's some front end loading from a lot of uh, big fund buyers and cotton buyers out there. So that's helping support the market. Uh, last week in our video, we did talk about a bull pennant or a symmetrical triangle and we were breaking out at that time. Uh, that, that price action has and that pattern has held true. Uh, it's taken us up to that uh, 89.30 or 89 level. Um, so price action is moving higher. Momentum along with it is also uh, moving higher at the same time. We like to see that in uptrends. So um, I am continued bullish on the cotton prices, at least the 90 level. Once we break that 90 level, I think we can continue to go much, much higher uh, in a relatively short period of time. So upside resistance on cotton uh, in the March contract, 90. And then on the downside, support's going to come in at 86.66. Moving over to the coffee market, which last traded at 141.50, that puts the March contract up 80 ticks on the day. Very uh, volatile overnight session we saw in the coffee prices. Uh, we've seen over the past week or so pretty strong equities market. Uh, we've seen you know the S and P back over 1800 again. At the same time, we've seen some inverse pressure on the dollar too. So that inverse pressure is putting some uh, some good support under a lot of these commodities coffee included. Uh, we are coming off what I believe to be a recent correction in the coffee market uh, to continue this uptrend higher. So uh, there's also been some reports coming out of Brazil, number one producer of coffee of some hot and dry weather out there. Uh, this is expected to affect not necessarily the older trees that are producing and yielding, uh, but the younger trees that have a bigger problem. So they're expecting some lower yields due to this hot and dry weather. And usually during this time, we're seeing some rainy weather in Brazil. So how that will affect it long term, I believe, will be smaller yields. So I am continued uh, bullish. I think prices will go higher in coffee. Upside resistance, 144. And downside support is going to come in at 135. If you have any questions on the futures markets, coffee, uh, any of these markets, cotton, you can give me a call. You can email me. My information is below. be more than happy to help you. Have a great day. Futures and options on futures may involve substantial risk and may not be suitable for all investors.